Ooh. They have great fortune, concern. A lot of other cards popped out. Journey on the bottom of the deck. But I'm going to keep shuffling the cards. Somebody is definitely concerned about, um, you know, someone having something for their self or building something for their self. Having great fortune, going towards a whole nother direction. And that person could be like all over the place. Because they're concerned. Wow. Yeah, change and sudden wealth is here. So somebody is definitely, you know, changing their direction. They could have moved. And they're having some type of sudden wealth. Like they are not even in the area that they were in anymore. Unexpected income and then community. So this person is receiving some type of unexpected income. A lot of people could be watching that person. They could see that this person, they, they could be trying to figure out where is this person getting some type of unexpected income? How are they having sudden wealth? This person have made some type of drastic change. Like a lot of people are talking about whoever this person is. They see this person. Um, a lot of people see that someone have made some type of change and they're having sudden wealth. Yeah, message. Somebody could want to contact this person. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. But somebody wants to message you, like they want to communicate with you. And whoever this mature man is, or somebody could see you as a mature man, this could be a mature woman that wants to connect with you, or you could be this mature woman, but somebody wants to communicate with you. And in despair, yeah, somebody, somebody's in despair, it's like they're in regret. They're ashamed of something. Yeah, they're ashamed because something came to a complete end. It's like something is just over and they're in regret. And then house. Wow. So, so if you're someone that moved or you changed your direction, you packed up and left the area that you were in, somebody could have came to your house and they were in regret because you're no longer there. Something is just over. It's like you moved. Occupation is here. This could be someone who really wanted to work with you, or this could have been, in, you know, involved in some type of work situation. Main male. And the imprisonment and false person. Wow. So whoever this main male is, this person have gotten caught doing something. Maybe they were working for this mature man. And they didn't know that person was somebody that was false and they were trying to keep them like stuck or trapped. Wow. So, yeah, they could have had that person do some type of work for them, and they didn't know that that person was somebody that was false. Maybe they were working with that person, or that person was working for them, something like that. And, you know, this could be like age differences, or this could be differences in maturity. Somebody just could, these could be two people that are the same age, but... Somebody is more mature than the other person. Like somebody is immature. There's someone that's a false person. And then imprisonment is here. Yeah, the world. So whoever the, the main male is, they got caught. And it ended something out. Like something is just over. Somebody needed to complete a cycle with this false person. And they've completed that cycle. And whoever the main male is, this person could have been working hard on something. And it was something that, you know, 
to try to have you stuck or somebody else stuck. And now they're in despair because it all came to an end. The strength card. Yeah, somebody have definitely took their strength back. They've gained a lot of courage. And they're manifesting. The magician. It's like, this is someone that definitely have, um, you know, power over their self. They have a lot of self-confidence. This person is someone that's very skilled. They're very creative. So they're able to manifest whatever it is that they want. Whatever this false person did to try to have somebody trapped, it has them in the energy of, um, you know, being very focused, focusing on growing. Yeah, and that has that person heartbroken, like they're suffering. To see this person in this musician energy. Wow. The fool card. So they're heartbroken because somebody went towards a whole nother direction or this person, somebody is going towards a whole nother direction. Like they're having a new beginning. And whoever this person, this is someone that's very innocent. They could have went through a lot of heartbreak. Emotional pain, emotional manipulation, depression. Now they're just starting something new. And they're trusting in, you know, their own intuition. Nine of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. Somebody realize that they need to give to their self, like be generous with their self, balance their self out. And somebody was trying to keep them stuck. Like this could have been a younger sibling. This could have been a younger, um, this could have been a friend or something like that. Yeah. And somebody is just in despair because something is like over. And Knight of Pentacles and then the Emperor. They were trying to slow whoever this Emperor is down. Somebody expected for this emperor to take care of some type of responsibility for them. Like they felt like that person was responsible for them. But they were trying to keep that person trapped and they didn't want this person to know that they were someone that was like two-faced. They were a false person. They were only distracting that person, however they were connected to that person. And they could have knew that that person wanted to come towards you and they could have been, um, you know, doing something to try to, you know, have you stuck or wanted you to feel stuck. To try to keep their self attached to that person because they knew that that person wanted to come towards you. So this was like a tactic to slow that person down. This was desperate. This was desperate energy. This was a friend or a younger sibling that was just desperate. Yeah, they were trying to create blockages, seven of wands. Everything backfired, though. It's like whatever that person was doing, they don't realize that they're going to have to go through that tenfold. Like they're going to experience it through someone else. It's like that person that they were trying to block off or keep stuck. That person is not going to issue them out their karma. Someone else is going to come and issue out their karma. Because as that person chose to go towards another direction, it's like they're setting their self free from dealing with these blockages. These trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes, distractions. Now that person is in that energy that they placed on their self. Blockages. Somebody just needed to realize that. And it's like somebody did. They've completed a cycle. They've ended something out. And somebody is heartbroken. It's like, who, who, 
You got to be doing something right if you have somebody, you know, emotionally hurt because you're doing what's best for yourself. That's just exposing that they don't want you to, you know, be happy. They don't want you to have what's best for you or do what's best for you. Because they don't want what's best for you. Nine of Cups. Yeah, they were definitely trying to block somebody off from being happy, like by their self. They don't want that person to be at the Nine of Cups. Oh, wow. It's like they were trying to keep their self attached to that person. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why are they trying to be attached to that person? You have temperance and will of fortune. It's like they could have knew what was destined for that person. And they were just trying to keep that person attached to them to like take care of some type of responsibilities instead of trying to stand up and take care of their own responsibilities. Yeah, they were trying to block that person off from being happy, having good luck, you know, being at peace with their self, being more patient with their self, finding their purpose, walking in their purpose. of cups yeah and partnering up with someone that they will be able to work with build with um collaborate with this could be a love relationship king of cups and then the devil Ten of Swords. Wow. This person is something serious. Like you have the Devil and Ten of Swords. Whoever this person is, this will be hard to believe. But that person was so desperate to the point where they played some type of binding magic or some type of spell work over this King of Cups. Like a love spell or something like that. To keep that person attached to them. This is sad. Like they were placing spit, like obsessed with, you know, placing spell work over that person. This King of Cups could have found out and they were betrayed. They could have lost a lot being attached to that person. And they didn't know how obsessed that person was. They definitely wanted that person to hit rock bottom, like, because they didn't want them to have anything to move forward. They felt like this person had anything or built anything for their self, got their self balanced out, you know, grounded out or was in this nine of pentacles energy given to their self, you know, more self-sufficient, standing out on their own, that person would venture off from them. So it's like they want that person to be in the ten of swords. This was the ultimate betrayal. Ten of wands. Yeah, this almost popped out in the reverse. So it's like whoever this energy is, that they, this false person, they were a burden to this King of Cups. And as they were around that person, they were having to work extra hard. You know, picking up extra responsibility. And it's like that popped out in the reverse. It's like that person was no longer, you know, trying to take care of responsibility that was not theirs. And this false person, they got pissed. They play some type of curse or hex over that person. And this, this King of Cups didn't know that that person was off into that. You have the lovers. Yeah, this is somebody that they were close to. Yeah, the lovers and two of swords. They were definitely close to that person for a long time. And they did not know, you know, they didn't know this about this person. They didn't know this person was someone that, you know, was very two-faced it. Like they would stab that person in the back and smile in their face. They definitely were trying to get this person to avoid like changing their self, healing, making proper decisions in life. They want this person to do whatever it is that they want them to do, especially if it's something that's toxic.
Yeah, it's like they kept that person in the Seven of Cups. They got pissed off because they can no longer confuse that person. Because all of these cards are, you know, popping out sideways. Somebody was coming up out of an illusion because they had not been attached to this person for a long time. They could have been a family member, a brother, a close friend, somebody that they had been knowing for a long time with the lovers and two of swords. But they never knew this person was off into whatever it is that they were, you know, attached to or addicted to. And this person could have been heavy on drugs as well. That person is someone that's very destructive. Yeah, the, the chariot. It's like somebody was definitely leaving something behind or standing up taking control of their life. And this person did not like that. No, they want to sabotage that person. Five of swords. They were already envious and jealous of that person that was trying to hide it. Like whatever that person had, they were envious and jealous of. They could have had a lot of disagreements with that person. But whoever this person is, they thought they were bullying this person and they didn't see it. They could have stole from that person a lot. They were just accustomed to doing the same thing to that person and they didn't know. That person was very sneaky. Four of Cups is here and Ten of Pentacles. This is sad. They want this person to miss an opportunity out on having long-term success. They rather see that person at the Ten of Swords than the Ten of Pentacles. They want this person to reject or just be disconnected. This could have been, you know, to their ancestors. They want that person to reject God. And then you have the Knight of Wands. Somebody could have been unhappy because somebody um, had some type of long-term security or their family had a Ten of Pentacles or something like that. And they were envious and jealous of this. Or they just didn't want this person to have a Ten of Pentacles like long-term success. They want that person to miss an opportunity out on this. Knight of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. They were working hard to keep this person like in a Knight of Wands energy, like doing stuff without thinking. They could have been, you know, um, having one night stands, having sex with multiple people and just not thinking. They were trying to keep that person like in an immature, reckless energy. They, they would rather see that person in this Knight of Wands energy than this Emperor energy any day. This is sad. You just want me to expect. Five of Pentacles is here. Yeah. And somebody is definitely in regret because they didn't believe something. And for a long time, they had been running around in this energy, not even paying attention to, you know, who that person really was to them. What that person was really doing to them to have some type of control over them. And it's like, since it went on for a long time, they were obsessed with whatever they were doing. And somebody is definitely disappointed. They're in regret because they did not believe something. Knight of Cups. And then Three of Cups. Yeah, so now they're in regret because it's like whoever that person is, this false person, they're in regret because this person is someone that's following their heart. They're getting ready to reconcile with someone. Um... But the other person is in regret as well because for a long time they weren't paying attention to whoever that person was or what they were doing, what type of, you know, control that they had over them. The star card, yeah, somebody definitely is coming towards you because they want to heal something. They want to reconcile. This person was acting very immature because of the person that they were attached to. And whoever that person is, they knew. So it's like they were just helping that person sabotage their self. This is sad. This is like someone that knows that you're headed to do something positive or you're building something that's going to have a positive outcome. And they're going to sit back and continue to distract you. 
they want you to invest in negative things instead of the positive things that you, you know, want to invest in. It's like they'd rather help you sabotage yourself so you won't get to the Ten of Pentacles. And then it'll be like you hit rock bottom and you need that person because they're already beneath you. They're already someone that's not, you know, in the same energy as you. They're not thinking positive. They're not thinking about building anything positive. They're just surrounded by toxicity, destructive behaviors, negativity, and different things like that. So it's like they'd rather help that person defeat their self, sabotage their self, hit rock bottom, carry a whole bunch of weight instead of being in the energy of investing in their self, building something for their self. Because they know they're not going to need that person or they're going to distance their self from that person. Wow. Yeah, somebody is definitely in despair because somebody is having some type of new beginning. They're stressed out. They can't sleep at night. They got exposed. This was their worst fear. Yeah, the truth came out. Ace of Swords. That person gained truth and clarity on whoever this Nine of Swords energy is. That person is someone that's very dark. And they never knew. Now they're seeing that person. It's like they're looking at everything that that person did in the past from when they met that person or grew up with that person. They're just recanting everything that that person have ever done to them. So that they done went through around that person and they're taking this as a lesson. Four of Wands and then Queen of Wands. And Seven of Swords. And then Queen of Swords. And then the Empress. <laughs> this is sad. This could be like, this could be two different people that were helping that person. Like lying, spreading lies, rumors, gossip. You know, helping cause deception and trickery. They have the Queen of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Wow. It's like everybody teamed up out of jealousy. All of these people. This could have been five different people. They teamed up out of jealousy. <laughs> this is sad. These could be like siblings. This could be mother and father. Different things like that. All of these people were being very sneaky. Yeah, out of jealousy, five of wands. It's like these are people that could have been secretly in competition or something like that. Tower. And this didn't do nothing. Yeah, this is this is like immediate karma. This didn't do nothing but make somebody realize something. These are people that created a tower trying to create a whole bunch of chaos and conflict out of jealousy. And somebody is just sailing away. Six of swords. Eight of cups. It's like somebody made a, a decision to walk away from something, withdraw from something. And this could be like five different people. This is sad. This just don't make no sense. Five different people, envious and jealous of one person. It's like you have to be doing something right for all of these people to be in this five of wands energy. They don't realize that they're not even in control of the energy that they're walking in. They're only exposing who they truly are. So that person could realize this. The energy that they're attached to in six of swords. I'm so done. 
Yeah, Eight of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Somebody definitely realized they needed to love their self more, work on their self, and just spend some time alone. Justice is here. Something is definitely being made fair. You could have went through a whole lot. That person could have went through a whole lot, but something is being balanced out. Somebody got their self caught up in some type of trap because they didn't want their mask to fall off. They dragged a whole bunch of other people down too. As they were walking in the same energy as that person, it's like that person is in the energy of they're not surprised anymore. It's like they could have been surprised by that person and then when other people started doing whatever they were doing in the five of ones energy, they weren't surprised. That just gave that person enough confirmation and clarity to six of swords, eight of cups. They were disappointed because they hadn't been attached to these people for a long time, but they're, they've made decisions to just leave it behind. Nine of wands. Yeah, these are, these are people are sitting back stuck in guilt. Because they did something over and over and over again to expose their self and they did not realize that. And it's like that one person, this main female, this false person, they were in fear of being left behind and this is why they created all of this chaos and conflict. They just riled a whole bunch of other people up to be exposed and seen for who they truly are. Now everybody is running around in guilt. Ten of Cups. This could be a whole group of people. They're stuck in guilt. Somebody is definitely leaving behind a family situation or a family dynamic that's just toxic. I'm so dumb. Somebody definitely realized in order to have justice for their self, in order to have, you know, God give them this abundance, they needed to, you know, guard their self from whoever these people are. They needed to leave a situation behind, um, gain some type of courage because they were constantly being tested over and over and over again. The hangman. And it's like these tests was for this person to surrender, let go, release. Finally view things on a whole nother level. And get more enlightened. The hangman. Then you have the king of wands. That person definitely needed to wake up to their intuition. And stand their ground. They needed to see the bigger picture. And get more focused. Four of pentacles. Yeah. These are people that were definitely trying to control this person. With this four of pentacles and a death card. Something came to a complete end. If they thought they had some type of control over that person, that came to a complete end. Two of Pentacles. <laughs> and they be sitting back trying to figure out what are they going to do. Yeah, while this person is trying to figure out what are they going to say to you, how are they going to communicate with you. Yeah, somebody could want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation or they want to apologize about something. Yeah, then four of swords is here. Maybe this person isolated their self from you or something like that. This person wants to apologize. This person was in some type of energy of um, needing to go in solitude, needing to lay different situations to rest. They needed to heal. This person definitely needed to recover from whatever this was. Yeah, the sun card is here. In order to be happy. Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's like you make this person happy. And then Page of Cups. You're very inspirational to this person. Six of Wands. This person highly respects you. And then the Hierophant is here. They want your forgiveness for something or they just look at you as someone that is very um, inspirational. You're someone that's very wise and um, 
this person definitely trusts you. Five of Pentacles. And then King of Swords. Yeah, so whoever this person is, Whoever this main male, this false person, this is someone that they definitely left out in the cold. Like they needed to distance themselves from that person because that person was only placing um, negative karma on them, financial curses on them, different things like that from whatever they were playing with. And the person that's, um, your person was blinded to that. They didn't know why they were losing a lot being attached to that person, just taking losses. The moon and then high priestess. Wow. This is somebody that's just sad. It's like that person got cut off and feel left out in the cold. And it's like they're still behind the scenes. Knight of swords. That's doing stuff repulsively. They also wanted that person to fear you. So whatever energy that they were in secretly if they were placing spell work over that person playing with curses and hexes they want that person to think that that that's what you was on i'm so done yeah to keep that person attached to them eight of swords keep them in fear this in a self-made prison i'm so done just keeping that person restricted the Hermit is here. And then Page of Swords. Yeah, it's like they've been in Hermit mode just watching you. Because now they don't trust nobody. They haven't got that person all in their head to the point where they distance themselves from them. Left them out in the <laughs> They don't trust nobody. This person only trusts you. And they're just trying to figure out how can they communicate with you after, you know, realizing the, the wolf in sheep clothing that they were attached to. 